Hey, I'm Sadie, and today I'll be taking you to an Alzheimer's benefit race at Gary Meadows Arena in Jonesboro, Arkansas. It is a really fun race for a great cause, so I'm going to let you watch and enjoy the video, and we'll meet right back here when you're done. <laughs> Okay, better fit check where you can see everything. I'll give you a twirl. Before we leave, I like to let them out to stretch their legs and get a bite to eat while I clean their stalls. I really like them to be able to come home after they work so hard at a race to a clean, dry, comfy stall. I hung out with Zoro for a little bit and then it was time to load up. Scout goes first and then Chester and I did put bell boots on their feet because this is a short haul but I do want to make sure that they are not going to clip themselves and they do have a little bit of protection on their legs. And we got there in plenty of time for me to watch a little bit before I came and saddled Chester. Chester is up first, so I got him dusted off and brushed everywhere, looked him over to make sure everything was right. He didn't have any cuts or scrapes or anything that needed to be addressed. And I really used this time to get in the right mindset and to think about what I really want to work on and to visualize our run. So I'll really think and focus on my body position and think through everything through my run slowly. I run him in all four boots because I like his legs to be very protected. He is a very hard worker and here he is trying to eat the camera. So I want to make sure his legs are nice and protected. These can absorb shock and keep him from clipping himself or anything like that. When he's all tacked up and we're ready to go to the warm up, I put on his practice bit uh, that I use to warm up. I don't warm him up in the bit that I run in. I want to have nice long reins and just a good relaxing warm up. When we go to warm up, I like to walk a lot, really get their muscles loosened up before I ask him to do anything, especially if we've come out of a really long haul. Thankfully, this arena is very close, but I still like to make sure I walk them a lot before I ask for anything. For the rest of my warm up, I will ask for a nice sitting trot and I'll ask him to put his head as low as I can get it, even when he is super jacked up like he obviously is today. I do everything both directions because I want both sides to be equally warmed up because that is very, very important.
when his warm up is complete and it's almost time for us to run, I will pick his feet. Today was very, very muddy, and then I switched my bit to my running bit. Which somehow got all tangled up, even though I put it back in its bag, but I don't want to talk about it. I fixed it. He really is patient to stand there through all of that and just stare at me like I am done, as I'm sure that is what he was thinking, but now it's time to run. When he's done running, we walk back to the trailer and I let him get a drink and then he also got some alfalfa. Now it is Scout's turn. I brush him off really good as well, checking all over his body before I saddle. Again with him, I have to reset my mind because he is way different from Chester. So while I'm grooming and tacking, I think through my run, I think about where my hand needs to be, where my body needs to be. Uh, I think about trying to be as relaxed as possible, even though it's pretty hard, but I really, really visualize my runs before I go in. I also run him in all four boots, so I get him booted up. Before I put the boots on, I feel up and down their legs to make sure everything feels right and everything is in the right spot before I put on boots and I make sure there's no dirt or anything that could be trapped under there that could move their tendon or anything to the wrong place. I will be warming him up inside rather than in the mud, so I go ahead and pick his feet before I get on and I like them to be nice and clean and free from any rocks that might be in there. When they're both done, they both get a tube of electrolytes, and then it was time to head home. So when we got home, they got nice and cozy in their blankets with lots of snacks to eat. They both did really, really, really good. Good night. So as you saw, Chester had a really nice run. We ran a 1D time and we won a little bit of money. So I was super happy with that. If you've been following along with my journey, you'll know that we have been kind of working back up. We took a, like a five week complete break from riding to help him uh, heal up and have the break he definitely needed and deserved. So I'm glad we are climbing our way back up to the 1D and Scout. I was actually really happy with that run, and I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. I'm just going to keep practicing to improve, and if you've been watching us, you'll know that 
that's a very far way we've come from the first race that I ran him at. There was no head shaking, we were close to the barrels, it was just me sitting down a stride too early. So I will definitely be practicing and working on that and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I made it just for you. Uh, if you really liked it, please subscribe and leave a like. And until next time, bye.